Hello YouTubers. This is continuation of the lesson how to control Mitsubishi VFD via Profibus by the Siemens S7-1200 PLC. In the previous video I have covered the hardware configuration in the TIA portal. In this video I will go through the configuration of the VFD in the FR configurator. Link to the previous video is in the description. First of all let's install the FRA8NP optional card and configure Profibus address. The Profibus address needs to be 8, same as was set in the TIA portal hardware configuration. X16 switch must be 0 and the switch X1 must be 8. Now let's connect the Profibus cable. The red wire needs to be connected to the terminal 1B, green wire needs to be connected to the terminal 2B, shield needs to be connected to the terminal 3B. Both ends of the network need to be with terminating resistors. At the PLC side VIPA connector has built in terminating resistor. At the VFD end terminating resistors need to be connected to the corresponding terminal. The 390 ohm resistors need to be connected to terminals 1A 2A and 3A 4A. The 220 ohms resistor needs to be connected to terminals 5A 4B. Now it is time to configure the VFD. There are two options to configure the VFD. Via PC application FR configurator or via built-in operation panel FR208. I will use FR configurator. Connect the VFD to the USB port of the PC and start the application. Click on the new project. Make sure, that in connection settings and USB is selected. In the model settings you can choose the configuration of the VFD manually, or simply click on auto recognize. As there is only one VFD, so you do not need to wait while all stations will be scanned. Click cancel right after the first VFD was recognized. In the model settings at station number 0 you should see your VFD. Mine is A800 series with installed Profibus communication card A8NP and encoders card A8AL that I use for my other projects. Click OK and your project is created. To get the list of all the parameters click on the parameter list. Now we need to upload the parameters from the VFD to the computer. To do that click online and then batch read. After read of the parameters is finished scroll down to the parameter 79. Keep value 0 there. Scroll down to the parameter 340. Set value 10. Mark that parameter and click on write, so it will write only one parameter. Go offline, turn off the VFD, wait for couple of seconds and turn it back on. Go to online and VFD should be in the net operation mode. The configuration is finished successfully. If you will go online in the TIA portal you should see the connected VFD at the address number A. In the next video I will cover the programming and testing of the program of TIA portal. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.